Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, one of the biggest problems that we've seen in Windows 10, 11 is how the Microsoft Store got really bloated and takes a lot of time to start and to do what you want. Now, Microsoft and some of the latest updates has rolled a new version that is significantly faster. Um, I think one of the things that they're looking at right now is how can we make this better, faster than what we had before. And it seems like it's working because on this machine, it is, this is the Insider uh, Canary. It definitely looks like it's faster in doing what it wants, what, what you want actually, <laughs> and what it wants also. Uh, but it is definitely uh, quicker in, um, so this is weird, you don't have apps installed yet. That's a weird one. But anyways, that's an insider machine. That's why it looks so bizarre and things like that happen. Uh, but it, it definitely is kind of quicker and faster, and I think a lot of people would like that. Uh, one of the problems uh, of the Microsoft Store, of course, is that it's not you know used that much, but all the core apps now come from here. And even some of the extras, if you want to run, you know, the Amazon store for um, Android, um, and if you want to have the Linux uh, side of Windows and so on, well, that everything comes from here now. So it's used a little more than it used to be. And even though most companies still kind of don't want to have their apps through the store, uh, and you can, you know, for most of them, you still download the good old file from the internet. Um, there is uh, an improved um, in, in a, a, a usage of the Microsoft Store that has been steadily increasing. Not everybody. Depends what you do. Uh, a lot of people that um, use the PC never go to the Microsoft Store, really. But, you know, it's used, if, if you think about it, it's still used uh, in the background because all of the apps that you have, Paint uh, and so on, are all uh, updated through here. And so that's one of the reasons why it, you know, it's still needed because even though you might not go into the app itself to do things, it's still working um, in the background to upgrade your apps. But I think it's something that's important because one of the things that made me use it less and less was how slow it was to do what I wanted and give me what I wanted. So I think this is a good idea that they're actually taking the time to stop adding features and just tweaking the speed of the app itself. Uh, and uh, I think they should focus on that on many other things also so that things run better rather than adding new stuff all the time. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.